In my mind, there's kind of two YNAB modes. YNAB on your phone, where you're just entering a transaction here and there, checking category totals before shopping, maybe adding a random savings category that popped into your head. And then there's YNAB on the web, the mode where we deep dive, cover eight categories of overspending with ninja-like stealth, reconcile our seven accounts in four minutes, assign thousands of dollars and months into the future, achieve our wildest dreams. <sighs> I generally use the desktop. No biggie. <laughs> I am not joking when I say y'all are always looking for a way to level up your YNAB game even more, and I don't blame you. If I could be good at astrochemistry or YNAB, I'd choose YNAB every day. I also maybe don't think astrochemistry is a real thing, so even stronger argument for YNAB, really. Astrochemistry. It's real. Study of the abundance and reactions of molecules. Oh gosh. Mm, I think I'm gonna pass on that. And y'all are about to YNAB even harder with YNAB's sleek and stealthy new keyboard shortcuts. You can find the entire list by clicking your email in the upper left corner of your YNAB account and selecting keyboard shortcuts. Or shift question mark. A shortcut for the shortcuts. 2024. Amazing. The appropriate keyboard shortcuts will be displayed depending on what device you're currently using. So if you're looking at the menu on a Mac, you're gonna see Mac-friendly keystrokes. On Windows, Windows, you get it. But I will say the shortcuts are absolutely identical between Mac and Windows. The only difference is that any shortcuts that include control or command in the keystroke will always be command on Mac or that fancy little doily looking thing and control on Windows. So if you're like me and you use YNAB on both of these devices, that's the actual only difference. Also, raise your hand if you've heard anyone use the word doily in the last 20 years. No? Okay. Today, we're gonna walk through a handful of the most popular shortcuts in YNAB, starting right here in the budget tab. First up, wanna collapse this little sidebar from our working room? Hit shift period at any time to open or close it. Collapse and expand all your category groups with command or control up or command or control down. I've been using this way more lately to find that one category you know is at the bottom of the budget, find the group it's in, bam. But also you can key through any rows in YNAB, be it categories or transactions by just tapping your up or down arrows. If I have no categories selected right now, I could press the down arrow to select my top category or press the up arrow to select my bottom category. From either starting point, I can move up or down the spending plan one category or transaction at a time just by keying up or down. And if you're wanting to select a bunch of neighboring categories or transactions in a row, hold down shift while keying up or down. I like to use this little trick when I have a bunch of money and ready to assign that I need to divvy out to the plan. I just kind of keep an eye on the total on the underfunded auto assign button. And once it exceeds my ready to assign amount, I key back one category, then hit underfunded to assign. Then I can key down to the next category and drop in whatever money's left, coming back to fully fund it later when I have more more money to assign. Alternatively, you can also select the first category or transaction of your desired group, hold down shift and click on the last of the group to select all transactions in between. I know, mouse, ew, but still kind of neat. And if you'd like to select all categories or transactions at once, that's an easy command or control A. And at any time, you can deselect any currently selected categories or transactions by hitting the escape key. And just like pretty much everywhere else in the world, copy, cut, and paste with command or control C, X, and V. You can easily undo your last action with your classic control or command Z, but you can also redo an undone action by adding shift command or control Z. Uh -huh. Okay, so now with the basics out of the way, let's move on to the real fun stuff. So you're out in your spending plan and you wanna snooze a category, shift Z. <laughs> Do you get it? Brilliant. This shortcut might be moving up the list for me as far as favorites go, because you know when you have your spending plan all perfect and fully funded, but for one reason or another, you need to move money from one category to some other category. And all of a sudden, YNAB's like, oh, you need to fund this category. And I'm like, actually, I know what I'm doing. Thanks, no thanks. 
snooze it. Snooze it and that yellow add more money to me message goes away and the category turns green again so it'll stop grabbing your attention and you won't need to worry about it anymore. Yeah, I'm about to be snoozing categories like nobody's business, okay? Now, if we head over to an individual account or the all accounts tab, we can easily start a brand new transaction by holding down shift N. When it comes to selecting your date, of course, you can easily key around using your up, down, and side to side arrows to navigate to a new day or month. But the plus button will also take you forward one day at a time and the minus button back one day at a time. You can hop back to today's date by hitting T or the first day of the month by pressing M. Add in a shift M to select the last day of the month. And we can also do this same thing with the year. Y to select the first day of the year, shift Y to select the last day. When you've highlighted the date you want, just hit tab to navigate right through the boxes and shift tab to navigate left through the boxes. Type in your payee or key up and down to find a pre-existing payee and tab over to your category section to do the same. If you need to split this transaction up into multiple categories, activate your category box and hit S and enter. Now we can fill in the details, tabbing our way through from box to box. And if you need to split the transaction into even more categories, tab on over to add another split and hit enter to select it. You can then tab over to your inflow or outflow amount. Anytime you're working in a number value box, you can use the plus, minus, multiply, or divide symbols to do any math you need to do on the spot. And when I say any number value box, I really mean any number value box. In a signed box, while moving money, while entering transactions, no math for you ever again. And using these equation symbols is actually way more handy than you'd think. I love using the plus button in particular when entering a split transaction. I'll just read down my receipt and add up all the groceries for my groceries line, paper towels and toilet paper for my household goods, add up my little Olipop and my troopers for my little fun money snackies. In fact, I used to go through and multiply every line amount by 1.093, which is the sales tax in our area. But now I just save the transaction, select auto distribution and let YNAB divvy out the taxes for me. Hashtag life hacks. If you wanna clear or unclear a transaction while in transaction entering mode, tab over to select the C and hit enter to toggle it on or off. You can tab down to save or save and add another. We're just gonna save for now. And PS, anytime you decide I'm not gonna save this transaction I'm working on, just hit escape to cancel your way out of the transaction or to deselect any categories or transactions you currently have selected. So now that we have a transaction saved and we're in our accounts, there are literally so many shortcuts you're about to lose your mind. This is like a YNAB heyday. <laughs> Just like before, key up or down to highlight different transactions and hold down shift while keying up or down to select multiple neighboring transactions. If you have transactions that need approving out in the budget, hit A to approve your selected transaction. And if they actually all look good to you and you just wanna approve them all at once, hit shift L to approve the whole lot in one fell swoop. Clear a whole boatload of transactions at once by selecting as many transactions that are ready to be cleared and pressing C. Grammatically, that sentence did not make sense, but you got it. Enter any scheduled or pending transactions into the budget early by pressing E. This will reset the transaction's date to today, moving it from your pending or scheduled transactions box and into your main account register. If you have two transactions that need to be linked up to each other, select them both and press M to match or link them. On the flip side, if you have two transactions link up that don't belong together, unmatch them by pressing Shift U. If you'd like to duplicate a transaction, clone away with Shift D. Super handy when you have a few very similar transactions that you wanna enter all at once, but just wanna change a few details or maybe the dates on them. And never did I ever dream I'd see the day where you can add flags to your transactions with one brief little tippy tappy of your keys, but the pigs are flying, my man. Select as many transactions as you want and press Shift F to pull up the flag menu. Once you do, release these keys and select a number, one through six to assign one of your six custom flags or press zero to remove any existing flags from these transactions. If you have a transaction still in need of categorizing, pull up your category menu by pressing K. You can type in the category from here or key through until you find what you're looking for. 
hit enter to select your category or tab over to edit other details or select approve. And if you find a transaction that just doesn't belong, say, we really appreciate your service and then smash that delete button they'll understand. Now, if there's a certain group or range of transactions that you'd like to pull up all at once, you can access the search bar by pressing Control or Command Shift F. Now you can type in any payees, categories, keywords from a memo, flags, dollar amounts, cleared or uncleared transactions, you name it. Plus you just feel like a little wizardy doing it, which is pretty cool in itself, so. And lastly, but certainly absolutely never the leastly, <laughs> You've run out of excuses to reconcile, my friend, because now you can begin the reconciliation process with the simplest of keystrokes, shift E. If it's looking good, go for it, reconcile. And if you find you still need to do a little more sleuthing before reconciling, hit escape and hop to it. Now, if your keyboard isn't absolutely falling apart by the end of the week from all these keystrokes and shortcuts you're gonna be reveling in all day long, then that's good. That sturdy keyboard. I say keep it. But I personally cannot wait to learn all these little shortcuts, work them into my routine, and wind up like a wizard. But let me know down below which shortcut are you most excited about? You've just been dreaming about it night after night, hoping that one day your children can live in a world where they too can wind up without a mouse. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Have a blast leveling up your wine up game and I will see you in the next video. And just like pretty much everywhere else in the world, copy, cut, and paste with Commander Control C, V, or the other one, X, I forgot. All right. This will reset the transaction date to today, moving it from your pending or scheduled transaction box into your main account register. Okay, I got it. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hope we don't want each other in the world. <laughs> Sorry. I'm actually lightheaded right now. But not time for the children back home. Or press the up arrow to select my bottom category. Bottom category for my bottom.